Okay, so before we go and uh, look into define met methodology processes and stuff, let us now go and create or maintain our business processes and sub processes because these are uh, two attributes that are mandatory when uh, creating the role or maintaining the role. Okay, so let us go and create a business, some business processes and sub processes. And uh, because these are cross module tools, right? Like cross tools meaning business processes and process processes will be used in ARA also. Okay, so it's not part of uh, the role management node. It is part of the access control node, right? So under access control, you go and look for maintain business processes and sub processes. Click execute and then you have the business processes for each of those business processes you have a business sub process okay so we have order to cash All right, so let's go and create, delete these, uh, some of these entries that we have. Okay. Um, that we would have created. And recreate them, okay. All right. So let's go and create, um, let's say, new entries. Want to create a business process? Let's say FI. Okay, so let's say three characters, right? So let's say finance. Save it, put it in a transport request. Now select the business process and double click on business sub process. Let's assume we create new entries. Let's say we say AP, okay? Say accounts payable. Then let's say you have AR, say accounts receivable. So you Create these depending on what your processes and sub processes are. Okay. Let's say GL. Let's say general edge. Right? Okay, save it. Now let's go back. Uh, see, in the, when you do the role maintenance, right, it is going to appear with the description as descriptions. So just for our identity and identifying purposes, let's prefix it with SP. Okay. So save it. Okay. So we create fin or finance. Let's say we create OTC. Let's say order to cash. Right, select it and create a business process, sub process. So let's say SPOTC. Okay, um, save. See, again, you know, it depends. So Remember we used this attribute in the role naming convention. So depending on how many characters you have defined there in the, in the role naming convention, SAP role maintenance screen is going to pick up that many characters from the name that you give here. Okay, 
So you, this is, for example, this is a five character subprocess name. Uh, and in the role naming convention, if you only define only two, it is going to take only two. Okay, if it is going to say three, if you define it as three characters in the role naming convention, it will take the three, three characters. Okay, so we'll see. Okay, let's go back and um, click on uh, P, P, you procure to pay. Save it and let's say PTP. Okay, save. All right, so, so we created three business processes and some sub processes within them, right? Now let's go and select basis, for example, and let's see what we have here. So you have basis and let's add security here, for example. Okay, sec, and it says P, SP, SAP, security. All right. So save it. So where where does this show up? We've seen this before, right? So when you define the role, this is where it shows up. Okay. So we'll see when we define, uh, start looking at when we'll start creating the single roles, or uh, composite roles or whatever. We will see those appear here. So this is going to change this list. So let's close. All right, so go back. Um, let's create a couple, couple of more, okay? MM0. back and then click on uh, new entry again. Um, let's say SP zero sales, right? And select, let's say SD, SP sales. Okay, save it. All right, so we created the some business processes and sub process and these are also the role act uh, one of those role attributes okay and these are mandatory role attributes so you have to associate uh, every role with a business process and a sub process okay now let's go back to brm configuration and now let us see uh, Now we'll define the methodology processes and steps. So we are not going through BRF plus application because that's another topic we need to we'll take a look into later. But right now we need to define a methodology process for roles.